I'm your host, Mouse Local 23. You're joining me for High School Story Class Act Chapter 9, Tokato. At lunch, you gape at AJ as he hangs his head in shame. I'm no longer your director. I bombed a big math test last week. I've been scraping by, but now it's all over. Is it really? You don't need math to direct. But with my grade in the gutter, I can't participate in extracurriculars. The school rules forbid it. If anyone has leads on a potential new director, let Mr. Olson know. Mm. I can't let this happen. There must be something we can do. Can't you plead to your case to Mr. Olson? What about an online petition? He should agree to let AJ stay if we get a million Twitter retweets. Guys, this is negotiable. Starting next rehearsal, I won't be there. Period. I can't, just can't believe it, AJ. How could you be failing this bad? Didn't you win a huge award for academics or something? A few, actually, but for writing biology and history. So basically, anything that doesn't involve math. Why didn't you ask for help before it came to this? I don't know. I'm usually able to fix these kinds of problems myself. Besides, I was trying to set a good example. And the truth is, you were too embarrassed to ask for help. I guess you could say that. Well, AJ... I'm like that too. I get it. It's humiliating to let people know you're struggling. It's totally a matter of pride. Okay, we don't need pride anymore. No pride allowed. It's time for an intervention. I'm helping you study math this week. We'll raise your grade or else. Uh, isn't it too late for that? AJ's already been kicked off. Once AJ gets his grades back in shape, he'll be allowed back, right? Even if they've gotten another director by then, he can at least be started, be part of the play. Aaron, you don't have to tutor me. This is my problem. It's all of our problems. Like it or not, if AJ goes down, so does the play. And, well, I'm in too. We're pulling you out of the depths of despair, AJ. And I'll be kicking and screaming all the way. That's AJ for thank you. I'll take it. See you tomorrow for after school. On the bus ride home. Sky wordlessly sits down next to you. Uh, hey. Hey. Two of you watch the scenery fly by in a comfortable silence. About halfway through the ride, Sky turns to you. I'm gonna vent to you about something. Oh, okay. Go ahead. This Friday, I'm getting dragged to the stupid annual comedy dinner with my parents. It's my least favorite day of the entire year. We have to act like the perfect family to the other money bags they're trying to impress. What fake interest should I make small talk about this time? Um... How about... Just be yourself and talk about theater? You enjoy doing theater tech, right? That's miles too nerdy for the image my parents want to project. Um, well, it's a big part of what you do outside of school, though. Like, if you don't talk about it, people are missing out on a part of you. My parents want them to miss out on all those parts of me. The not normal parts. In public, they don't want me. They want an ideal dream daughter they can use to make themselves look successful. That's not right. You should let them... Let your true self shine through. I wish my parents felt the same. It makes me sick how fake they act in front of people they're trying to impress. They're so nice to me when they want to look like a perfect family, but at home, they treat me like crap. Well, at least I know their secret. Yeah. In a way, I'm, I'm glad you saw us that night. 
now at least one other person knows the truth. Sky shifts in her seat, fidgeting with her hair. Do you ever wish you had different parents? Different parents? No, never. Um, I think everyone wishes for that sometimes. How about a third option? Or a fourth option? I mean, I get it, it's pertaining to the character, but... I just wish I had parents. No one's parents are perfect, so I figure it's normal to wonder. I appreciate that my parents adopted me and all, but there are days they do get on my nerves. I feel like my parents get on my nerves pretty much every day. You know how kids escape their awful families and stories, like in Harry Potter or Matilda? It's so sad, but I can't help but fantasize about it happening to me. Sky buries her face in her hands and exhales. Anyways, can't wait to have the worst night ever. When is it again? Friday. Hmm, that's still a bit away. I mean, who knows? Maybe the that time a meteorite will uh, have hit the venue or something and you won't have to go. Corner of Sky's mouth quirks up. <laughs> what are the odds close to zero? Close to zero isn't zero. A girl can dream. Suddenly your phone buzzes. You glance at the screen with Sky curiously peering over your shoulder. Uh, AJ text me? Hi, Bailey. It's AJ. Uh, hi, AJ. You finally got a phone. <sighs> wow. How many problems here can we pick on? One, caps lock. Two, you. Just you. Not you. Oh my god. Yes, we got eye emojis. Yes, the day has come. What are all those eyes for? Can you not do that, please? Now we can text. Texting buddies. You need to stop, Billy. You really need to stop. Okay, if you want to text anybody, I am not the right person for them. Just so you know, Aaron and I decided we're studying at the library tomorrow. Here's the address. The Navilia's title comes from the phrase, The best laid plans of mice and men often go awry, meaning that no matter how careful your plans are, that something can still go wrong. The expression originates from To a Mouse by the 18th century Scottish poet Robert Burns. Shoot, that's not what I meant to post. I I ignore that. LMAO. Do you need to... Do we need to teach you how to use your new phone, AJ? 893 Gallery Avenue. No, you don't. See you there. Yeah! This guy gives you an amused look as you put your phone away. You and Aaron are saints. Good luck. I survived an entire night locked in the theater with AJ. I bet this will be a piece of cake. The bus rolls to a stop at your street. My stop! Sky stands to let you squeeze past her. The sunlight catches her auburn hair like fire. You know, talking to you actually made me feel a bit better. I needed that off my chest. Later, Billy. Le uh, good. Later. Gorgeous. I mean, what? As you run off the bus. You get off the bus and head home. Shut up. There are things... Okay, tell me I'm not wrong. There are people that you see in public that you would just like to go up to and be like, you are gorgeous and have a great day. <laughs> what? I do. Anyway, after school on Tuesday, you walk to the address AJ sent you. Operation Save AJ's Grades begins. I'm ready to tackle my trigonometry homework. Moral support incoming. What are we can DPSing the damn math book down? What? Suddenly someone pokes you in the side. Huh? Hey guys. We heard yeah, AJ can't do math. Oh. We could use the extra help, I suppose. Uh, more of the mirror. Pretty sure that rule doesn't apply to study sessions. The study version's probably more like the fewer the more focused. 
I promise we won't get in the way. Right, Rory? Right. Okay, well, let's get started then. AJ, what are you uh, struggling on? AJ flips his textbook open and points to a practice problem. The whole entire book is this problem. I don't get how to solve these. These words all sound like nonsense. Well, well, let's look at the lesson this is from. You're supposed to use these uh, ratios. It says here, sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, to remember, say, so katoa. Oh, I know a mnemonic device for this. Some old horses can always hear their owner's approach. So ominous sounding. Being ominous makes it memorable. Be scared and remember. Five of you pour over the textbook lesson. I haven't even taken this course and I get it now. Take a good, good look, AJ. Here's how to do this exercise step by step. Danielle solved the problem. AJ frowns at her work, brows furrowed. AJ. It's okay, I don't get it either. It's all mumbo jumbo to me. But you're only a freshman, Billy. AJ has no excuse. AJ, what part don't you get? Uh, what is sign supposed to mean? Like, what's even happening here? <laughs> oh, AJ, bro. Okay. What the heck? How did you pass the chapters before this if you don't understand that? I didn't pass, remember? Oh boy. Start over the beginning of the chapter, but the more you explain, the more confused AJ seems. Wait, but it says the angle is zero right there on the triangle. AJ, that's a theta symbol, not a zero. If the angle were zero, there'd be no triangle. Oh, you need to calm down, little missy. Your 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 combativeness isn't helping him learn. Yeah, sure, I, I knew that. Don't nod along with that blank look on your face when you clearly still don't get it. Whoa, damn. We were supposed to be helping this guy, not ripping him a new one. Two hours later. What is math? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Oh my god! Okay, moving on. What does this have to do with real life? It's all made up, right? Are you kidding me right now? Oh god, AJ. You've triggered them. Numbers aren't real. Nothing is real! <laughs> okay, so AJ's dead. Uh, his brain is completely fried. Oh, he still is talking, I'll never know. Oh no, now this is making my head hurt too. Okay, stop. Everyone just stop overthinking. <sighs> we should take a break, AJ. Go get some fresh air. Alright, well, taking a walk outside, I'll think about the meaning of math. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Forget math. We're trying to reset you. Isn't there like a little art gallery across the street? I bet that could help clear your mind. Billy, why don't you go keep AJ company and make sure he doesn't start overthinking things. In the meantime, the rest of us can try to re-strategize how to explain trigonometry. Actually, that's a great idea. I bet it really boosts my productivity. Billy, what do you think? No. Just stay focused. Forget the break, let's just power through this and get it over with. Okay, but you may be right. We've been here so long, I just want to go home. After another painstaking hour of instruction, AJ manages to complete his math homework. I think I get it now. Sort of. Some of these are wrong, but it's an improvement. Let's try again on Friday. Same time, same place? Uh, works for me. Hope we get better at this. <clears throat> the next day, you have your first rehearsal without AJ. All right, guys, we need to find someone to compose music for the play. Normally, AJ would have handled finding someone. 
I don't have any friends outside of theater, so I can't help you there. I know someone who might be interested. Aiden Zhao is a pretty skilled composer. You're right. That guy's obsession with music is legendary. We can just reuse the tracks from last year's play. I guess, but that's not as good as having a proper, specially composed soundtrack. Yeah, I want people to, like, cry when they hear my theme song. I bet we could talk him into composing for us. Convince a Gaiden to compose for the play will unlock a special song for the performance. And this is where you could have hinted at the song. Cycle of the old tracks will work. I'm sure there are some pretty epic songs on last year's soundtrack. There's some sense in that. No need to fix what I'm broke. Agreed. It's uh, not ideal, but we can definitely make do with what we've got already gone. I'll go see what we have. Suddenly the theater door opens with a bang. A skinny, nerdy-looking boy staggers in, panting for breath. Oh god, it's Louis. Uh, uh, sorry I'm late. I, I, I didn't know where the theater was. No offense, but are you lost? The eSports Club is down the hall. I'm exactly what I am, where I need to be. I'm Lewis, your new director. He was the only person who volunteered. I've uh, never been in a play before, but I've DM'd plenty of tabletop RPG campaigns, so I know how to tell a story. You DM'd RPG campaigns? It's not the same as directing, dude. It's a little concerning that you don't have any drama experience at all. I think my unique background will be a plus. I'm looking forward to putting my own spin on the Enchanted Kingdom. Your own spin? Yeah, oh, well, you'll see what I mean. I apply to do this because I love fantasy. I could play Legends of Clan Craft all day. We're doomed. I'm walking off. I guess that's good. We we do need a director anyway. Lewis, now at the helm, you continue rehearsing the play. Action! You don't need to say that. This isn't a movie. You and Rory battle the witch. Rory charges forward, swinging your sword. Take this! Cut, Rory! Your, your battle cry should be Leroy Jenkins! I want to beat you to death right now with your own arms. Huh? Who is that? <sighs> You're about as bad as Lewis. He's a character from a foolishly famous for foolishly charging in the battle. Everyone will get it. I mean, it was it was a prank. It was all mock. It was completely made up to make everyone else think that it really happened when it didn't. But it was for fun. But sure. Uh, okay. Leroy Jenkins! Danielle evades her attack before overpowering you and Rory with her magic. You weakly strain against an invisible force as Danielle points her staff at you. You've bested me. Well done. Cut, Billy, don't say that. Say, my HP is de depleted. GG. Uh, no way, that's not my line. Really stick to the script. I'm improving on it. Trust me, the audience will appreciate these changes. I asked my friends for an objective opinion while we were playing online games yesterday. They all think adding these fun references is a great idea. I think you're an idiot. I'm not sure that counts as an objective opinion. Enough talk! Let's start action! Let's just... Oh god, my brain's actually stopping because of him. Start... Let's start take three. Action! After rehearsal, you leap off the highest point of the building, or through the most closest window. Sky takes her usual seat next to you on the bus ride home. I can't believe what a train wreck that was. I'm genuinely worried about how the play will turn out now. I never thought I'd say this, but I actually miss AJ. How's tutoring going for him? If his grades are saved, we're safe too, right? Tutoring AJ's been... 
Okay, but it could be better. We made some progress last time. Now if AJ gets quizzed instead of an F, he might get a D. Maybe a D plus. That's still pretty bad. At this rate, the play will be over before his grades are good enough. Are you sure you're doing a good job explaining? Maybe you're just cruddy teachers. I won't, I won't, I won't know. I won't even, I won't even fight you on that. We are shit. We really are. Help us, please. We're doing our best. Not that I don't trust you, but since things are looking so desperate, maybe I'll stop by sometime. Just to see. Please. Please. Honey, I will. Okay, I'll give you a kiss. I don't know. What does she want? At Friday. AJ's grade recovery squad reconvenes in the library this time with the addition of Sky. I have another huge test on the whole chapter next week. It's worth a ton of points. So this is our chance to turn things around. I envy your optimism sometimes, Billy. AJ, what are you still having trouble on? He just throws the book at you. <laughs> the whole goddamn thing is <laughs> what's wrong? I'm telling you, the dude hates trigonometry, okay? These graphs of trick functions are making my head spin. I can't usually... I can't visualize what's going on at all. Sky takes a long, hard look at AJ's textbook while the rest of you wrangle through with teaching him. Okay, one turn around the, the circle is two pi radians. So AJ, what's three quarter turns? Three eighth pi radians? Wait, no. Hesitantly, Sky speaks out. Why not make up a symbol that equals two pies to make uh, things look cleaner? Like, let's call it berry. One turn around the circle is one berry radian. And... Sky draws a picture to illustrate what she means. If that makes any sense. It just face lights up as Sky continues drawing on the paper. Oh my god, I... I get what's happening. That looks way more clear. Really? Yes, it's so simple. He's had a breakthrough! Sky, you're a miracle worker! Can't breathe easy yet. That's one thing down, but we still have to review the rest of the chapter. But there's hope now. I, I've never gotten a math concept this fast before. Sky, can you explain the lesson after this one? I think I know what I know what I know a way. Tongue twister. Eventually, with Sky's help, I did it. I'm all set for the big exam. Sky made it look so easy. Because she can actually explain things. That was so much better than your worthless horses can hear your owner's coming thing. Oh my god, that's not even close. That's that would have been HCH talk. Just moving on. I never did abbreviations. I hate the shit out of, abbrevi out of abbreviations. I really do. Your stomach rumbles loudly as everyone gathers their things. I'm starving. We were in here forever. Wait, what time is it? Like, 8.30? All the color drains out of Sky's face. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I didn't realize it had gotten so late. I missed the company dinner. Oh no, oh no. My parents are gonna kill me. Sky, don't panic. It'll be okay. Isn't This isn't the end of the world. You'll get through this, I promise. No, I won't. Oh god, I'm so dead. Sky shrinks back in her seat as the library door slams open. Her parents storm in, their face twisted with rage. There you are! If I throw my fucking shoe at you right now, will you go away? You fed berries dust and ruined everything. Please not, not in front of everyone. Why not? You made us look like fools in front of everyone. Everyone was asking, where's your daughter? I didn't mean to miss the dinner. I lost track of time while helping. Cut the crap! You were just here wasting time with your friends. Typical for someone as irresponsible and selfish as you. 
Uh, actually, your daughter is a wonderful girl who was helping a dear friend. So you couldn't quite frankly kiss my lily white ass. Here's well open sky's eyes as your friends gape at the scene, stunned. Hey, how dare you talk to Sky that way? Leave her alone. You're the worst parents ever. Sky's dad scoffs at you and turns to Sky. Who is this? Maybe that kid is where you get all your stupid arrogance from. Something inside Sky seems to snap, and she explodes at him, sobs constricting her voice. Shut up! Just shut up already! I hate you! Oh! Now you've done it! You are not talking back to us! This is not the end of this. We're having a long talk at home. Oh no, not a talk. Sky's parents escorted her out of the library, her face streaks with tears. I throw a goddamn shoe at him. Monday at the rehearsal. Alright, let's get started. Where do we leave off? AJ, you're you're back? I based my test. It lifted my grade into passing territory. So no more saying good luck and have fun before battles. No more clan craft crossover Malore. Forget that, forget all of that. Everything that Lou has told you, I give you full permission to erase from your memory. Yes, finally. Everything's back to normal. Well, almost normal at least. It's a shame that no one got a composer for the soundtrack. As everyone gets to work, Trevor's eyes search the room. Where's Sky? She's not here? I haven't seen her since that time in the library. Where is she? We need her to build the sets. Probably grounded her jackass appearance. Next time on High School Story, Sky is missing. Where is she gone? I don't know what to say. I really feel bad for Sky. I really do. Um, it sucks. It sucks. It really does. I look at it like this, and I say this to anyone, and I know there's underage viewers who watch my content. Um, it's going to get better. I can't guarantee you that, but it's going to get better. Um, this is why I say that. Is you just have to keep pushing. You can't give up. I know there were times I wanted to give up, and I still do, even to this day. Um, you can't give up. Because you have pushed so long for so far. I mean, you're however old you are. And do you really want to give in now and give up? You know? Um... Eventually, for those underage, you will hit 18. You will be free. You'll be able to leave the house and be able to go and do whatever the you want and get, get a place of your own and work your ass off and push and push and push. And, and I think that's what people need to realize more is is people need to to, to realize that is, 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 is if you push, yes, you're going to have a lot of sleepless nights. Yes, you're going to be tired as all hell. But one day, you will get out ahead. And... You'll be able to say, man, I, I, I did it. You know, I did something better than nothing. Um, and you'll get away from that negativity. And that's one thing that I like about this community, is I want us to get away from negativity. I want us to, to have fun. Um, I want us to get to know one another. I want to be there for you guys um, as much as I can. Speaking of which, I do apologize about this being a little uh, late. I have just not felt good. Um, yesterday, I just, right after I got my brothers off the bus, I just didn't feel good. Um, I haven't felt good all night, I haven't really slept, and, yeah, so I thought I'd get this done, um, early this morning, so. Um, but, again, like I said, just push. That's all you can really do. Like, I, I could go into more detailed things, and there's a lot of times I have a lot of tangents and things like that on stream. 
um, where I talk about things like this. Um, and it's better in the moment, you know, trying to think about this where you don't know certain, like you're you're, you're trying to paint a broad brush, you know, versus you don't know people's specific situations. Um, and that's why I like getting in touch with uh, people who message me and everything, you know, and we communicate and we talk about things and, and whatnot. Um, it's nice to getting to know everyone um, and and know where they stand and check up on them after a while and see what's going on and, and things like that. It's it's nice. Um, and I, spend a lot, I spend quite a bit of time getting to talk to people and things like that, and it's nice. It's worth it. It's worth it. Um, I can at least say I am a content creator that spends a lot of time where I could be doing content or, or making that buck, as they say, um, where I'd rather spend it with my fans and just shooting the shit and having fun, you know? Um, again, I, 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 I aim for that. I aim for the, our community to be the, one of the shining examples of what an awesome community can be, you know? So... Uh, speaking of community, if you would like to, you, there is a link down in the description down below. Um, you can come hang out and everything. And actually, let me just go ahead and pull this up real quick, and I'll show you guys where it is. Because some people are like, oh my god, where is it? Where is it? How do I join Discord? Um, let me pull it up here. Down here, if you hit show more, um, there is links to all that. There is links um, to even Pixelberry's Tumblr. There's links to my social media accounts, so Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and then there's links to support me and my channel. And then right there is our uh, is our Discord link, and then under that is our stream link for Twitch. Feel free to come hang out. I do uh, quite a bit of streaming and whatnot. It's a lot of fun, um, and yeah. So without further ado, thanks for tuning in, and I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.